Hello everybody, my name is Shooter101 and welcome to today's episode stream episode. We're not streaming right now, we're playing a video game. So, I don't know how many of you have ever heard of this game. As you know, I'm an, R uh, I'm an arcade, uh, arcade game, yeah, I'm an RTS gamer, I used to be anyway. I used to be really into like things like Starcraft, uh, Warcraft 3, things like that. I used to, well, I wasn't really into Warcraft 3, I, I, I played it. <laughs> There you go. I played StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2, and for those of you who don't know, I also played a lot of the Halo Wars. The only two Halo Wars. I played a lot of- I played the crap out of those two. Um, and I like Age of Empires as well. So anyway, I really like RTS games, and I'm typically decent at RTS games. Today we're gonna talk about Bar, or Beyond All Reason. The most complicated and difficult RTS game I've ever played. This includes Homeworld, and Homeworld was a was a pain in my ass. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the developers seem very active. This is a free RTS game that you can download by looking up Beyond All Reason. And uh, it's an RTS game. It's really cool. All of your units are robots. You yourself are a robot slash mech thing that you have to put everything together. Anyway, it's really complicated, a lot of fun, really hard. I've lost every single game that I've ever, ever played. I'm gonna get better at it, hopefully, maybe. It's a really fun game though. My friend introduced it to me yesterday, like the middle of the night. He like he messaged me, he was like, hey, have you heard of Beyond All Reason? If not, check it out. So, we're checking it out. I've played a couple of games so far. You have to download the maps. It's actually kind of a bit interesting. Um, it was, sorry, correction. It's very interesting. And uh, I don't know how to play all that well. <laughs> so, with that being all said and done, uh, we have a green screen behind me. That is why I'm in the game right now. Literally in the game. Um, got the green screen. I made a video about it. Never gonna upload it. <laughs> um, so yeah, with that being said, let's get rocking and rolling. Now, unfortunately, and I do mean unfortunately, I don't think there's like a speed up for this thing. <laughs> I was really looking for this, uh, for this freaking setting that made it so that I could, you know, do some stuffs and things, but nah, of course not. So anyway. Uh, let me show you what the game looks like. So, here we are. We are in Beyond All Reason. Now, they have a ton of maps. Uh, like I said, you can download these. So, um, this is the same, essentially, map. Just one's underwater, the other one isn't. Um, but they have, like, some really cool maps. Some really cool things that go on within the uh, within this game. Um, so far, my favorite map that I've played, I believe, is somewhere down here. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, no, it's this one. Uh, Ditched V1. It's actually a pretty good map. Um, I like it. Um, so anyway, we're gonna actually play Ditched because that's a, a really... Or maybe not. No, we're not. <laughs> Apparently not. Alright. Um, yeah, so you can download multiple maps. I'm not sure. There's probably a community, let's be honest, that uh, sorts out all these maps and lets you play them. But uh, yeah, there, there are a lot of maps. And you can find maps that... Uh, are kind of alike in that set st uh, standard. So let's do let's do like top bottom. I think that'll be a pretty cool thing that we can do here. Um, you know, you can drag these around and move them as you please. But uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna do a top bottom <laughs> kind of situation going on here. Um, and we'll be able to pick kind of what we're doing. So yeah, this game's kind of like StarCraft. Not really. I'll explain some things that I'm like fully aware of and fully know. Um, change the faction of this thing to uh you know whatever we'll keep it as uh, cortex you can have advanced options these are pretty extensive what i was really hoping for um was a speed setting but uh, i don't think they have that no wonder level cooperative mode undeformable map ruins ruins density loot boxes assist drones enable for pve only assist drones count based turret yet yeah. Uh, control, scavengers, new endless mode. I don't know. I don't really know about this. Um, yeah, anyway, they have a lot of things. I'm going to go easy mode. <laughs> Burrow placement. Initial start box, yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's anything speed related. Like, we can't speed up the game, we can't slow down the game. But, we can 
Please wait for downloads to finish. Okay. Never mind, we have to wait a little bit. Um but yeah, so there's a lot of maps, essentially. Um like I mean seriously, look at this list of maps. Like this is absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, I had to pick a map that wasn't downloaded. Great. Ten out of ten. Um good job, shooter. <laughs> um Maybe we should just play Ditched then, because I know I don't need to wait for that to download. Why will that not let me? Let's play it! Okay, it's done. Um, so we can actually do this. And this is a left to right map. Anyway, so you have a whole area that you can pick. And before you start the game, um, there's a ton of stuff you can do. It's actually a little interesting. It's a little weird, because I, I'm used to StarCraft where you can't do anything until the game starts. That's what I thought this game did. I was extraordinarily wrong. As soon as you pop in to the very beginning of the game, and I'll show you what I mean, you get to pick things. Like, there are things you get to do. Not only do you get to pick where you spawn, you get to pick um, where you want your things to be. Now, I, I noticed that the outside of the map, like, the, the aesthetic is just the map copied and pasted in a low res, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so... The enemy can spawn within anywhere of this red square. We can, or rectangle, we can spawn anywhere on this side Please with a rectangle. Um, and then there is a lovely, annoying piece of crap that loves to talk to you. Um, so I think we're actually going to start over here. But not only can you do that, you can go ahead and queue up things, like, right away. And I find this freaking amazing. So before the game even starts, you know, you can... Talk to multiple people, whatever. You can be playing this with your friends. Um, but before the game even starts, like, you have the option to... Is this a ramp up here? We'll see. Um, I haven't played that much, so... But yeah, you, you can basically just queue up a bunch of stuff. So get your metal resources, your power resources, and uh, get everything else going. So let's get going now. But yeah, so when you start the game, you can queue up a bunch of things. Um, and essentially your character will come crashing in. You can drag select and, and see that he will be doing all of these things that are in the area. And uh, essentially we'll be using up resources. That That's going to be a thing. So whenever you build something, it costs resources to make it, obviously. So in this case, it costs 50 minerals, but 500 power to make something. Um, and we're idly just making power anyway. But, uh, you know, we're, we need more than just 25 Per, per second. I, I honestly didn't know what the uh, income was there. <laughs> and then essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to get ready. So we're making this, and then we are going to be making this. Now, thank goodness for this game. This game is so uh, aesthetically pleasing, I'm not going to lie. I actually really appreciate that it's so aesthetically pleasing. But we know that the enemy is somewhere over here, so we're going to make a construction bot and probably a couple of scouts. Um, and then we're going to be doing some other stuff, so I want my army probably to be on that ramp. We want to keep a, a height advantage, if at all possible. Um, and I hope it, what happened last time doesn't happen this time, because I got absolutely destroyed. Uh, even on uh, quick difficulty, but yeah, we're going to be making, say, two scouts. These, these are the fastest units in the game, I compare them... Or I think they're the fastest unit in the game anywhere. I compare these two uh, Zerglings. Uh, but yeah, you, you have in-game statistics for things. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to be making a power storage supply right now. Um, it tells you how much your demand is, which right now is not going to be that high. Um, hopefully. We will be wanting to make another um, solar collector because this only costs minerals to make. And um, it's actually decently cheap. And of course, when we get this guy, this guy is going to be making mineral collectors and uh, also going to be making solar panels. And uh, this game is actually really good for all of that stuff. So we can tell it to be like, hey, go over here, make a mineral. Um, then we have our scouts. Which are just gonna, like, fly across the map here. 
um, while we're doing this stuff. But yeah, we're going to try to get more power and uh, some more minerals. This guy's doing that, though. Uh, and then... Actually, that's pretty much about it for now. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, we're going to be trying to get our mineral count up. We're going to be trying to... Essentially, what this guy needs to be doing... Um, 100% of the time like we'll be doing solar energy for this map even though like we can get a lot of power So the wind display the top number displays the minimal amount of wind the bottom number displays the maximum amount of wind for that map And this just dis uh, displays the current amount of wind um, so This dictates how much uh, wind energy you'll be making um, so right now we'd be making seven per uh, per turbine essentially, but we're going to be going with solar power because it's not that great um, And of course eventually we're going to be making units as well here. So let's actually get starting on that um, We'll want a couple of rocketeers as well and Essentially, yeah, our robots are just gonna be busy away working at getting resources for us These guys are going to try to find you know out about as much information as they can. Don't care if I lose these units, they're scouts anyway. Yeah, so we can see a lot of information going on. They have a construction vehicle, they have a couple of construction vehicles, they have turrets. So yeah, we know where they are. They don't fully know where we are, um, because it's not a cheater AI, so they do actually have to scout that stuff out. And what we can do, and this is actually super freaking awesome, we can put down a radar tower and uh, that's actually super beneficial to us because we basically get to say, hey, I need to know where everything is. And uh, also, let's talk about these. So this is the point where it turns en energy into your minerals, and this is the point where it gives uh, access to your teammates, of which we do not have. Um, so that is actually pretty cool. And uh, it gives us a little bit of... It basically gives us a little more to think about. So... We're going to use the construction bot for things like getting our radar going, which we now have. So essentially, this will just ping when something's coming across the map. Um, and we're going to be making more metal. And eventually, we're going to be making more solar as well. So basically, we want our constructor working on that at all times. Uh, which, speaking of, we're going to get into the constructor bot now that we can probably manage that. <laughs> this game is pretty crazy. I love it, though. Like, there's a lot of stuff to this game. I it just, it, it's so freaking wild to me that this is free for everyone to play. Um, you know, but free video games are becoming more popular. RTS games especially. Oh, and this. This is pretty awesome to see as well. The fact that we can, like, extend and see out, you know, the far reaches of everything. Um, next thing that we're probably going to be doing is setting up some air defenses. More specifically... Uh, I want air defense primarily for this map, because this map seems to be a really good map for uh, getting absolutely screwed <laughs> by air units. So, we're going to try our best here. And essentially, we're going to be making better technology that takes up less space over time. Like right now, we're going to be putting that in. Um, this guy is probably going to build... Oh, yeah, and the game tries to give you a best guideline for where to put things as well, which is nice. Uh, and then... I think we're going to go with, uh... We're going to go with this. But yeah, so we'll, we'll want to be continuously making units of some kind here and there. And uh, essentially, we're going to try to keep profit up to par. Um, but yeah, the AI loves to just attack right away. Um, and unfortunately, he's actually going to take out that anti-air cannon. And uh, thankfully, we actually have the wonderful ability be able to do that um right because we're building multiple things right now like 
excuse me, come here. Appreciate it. You can now produce vehicles and tanks. Oh my god. well armored and equipped with heavier weapons. However, oh my, you're just pushing the worker. And cannot traverse steep terrain. Sometimes not everything works, which is a bit odd, as you may have just noticed. Um, which is also decently annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna need, uh, we'll have a turret here and here, and I'm gonna need this to go back up. You can, okay, just glitch up that hill. Yep, that's perfectly fine too. 10 out of 10. <laughs> this game is, I don't, I don't know that we can really classify this as beta. This game is um, decently new, actually. It came out pretty much this year, so I'm going to get that back going. Uh, yeah. Because we want to be able to see when we're going to be getting attacked. Because, of course, it had to happen right as I said it was going to. It's a very creative traversal method <laughs> that's going on here. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I didn't know that the environment interacted like that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but the AI is pretty, pretty harsh, all things considered. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. Also, we need to do something about the power storage issue. Let's get two of those going. And then, uh, what's interesting is the tier system, because I don't fully know how it works yet. In all seriousness, I actually have no clue. Um, the only thing I really do know... Is that I'm going to be having to do a lot of stuff. Um... But now we're not wasting energy anymore. We're actually creating things with that energy that we have stored up. So, and as we can see right now, there was a red dot coming up the bridge. Okay, never mind. Oh, no, no yep, there it is. So essentially, because we have that radar, we can see, are they going to go up this way, which it looks like they are? Or are they going to come up the main route here, which they're not, so. Perfectly fine. Yeah, and as soon as that one guy comes into range of my artillery tanks. Um, yeah. Love my artillery tanks. Not super um, accurate shoot uh, shots, but very... Uh, helpful <laughs> that's the least that needs to be said about that all right uh let us get going on the... oh never mind <laughs> uh let us make a metal storage container over here and then i think we'll be okay actually as long as we keep making units very unfortunate situation i think this is a normal assault tank no it's a light amphibious tank I was incorrect. But now it's gonna get beamed by multiple things, so. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, anyway. We have a couple of assault tanks now. Um. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't really know how to play this game. Not even gonna lie. I don't know how to play it well. I don't know. So anyone that has any tips or tricks, that'd be fantastic. 
I'm, I'm not even joking. I don't know how to play this game. I literally picked it up because it looked cool, and then I realized that I'm having a, a joy trying to figure out how to play this game. Um, especially since it's so freaking difficult compared to what I usually do. Um, I think... Well, we're not producing enough energy right now, which is actually a problem. How, what does it take to make the geothermal? 560 and 13,000. Oh, we can do that. Oh, we, we can definitely do that. Oh, but that can only do... Oh, okay. So you can only do that on... Oh. Oh, no. That's going to be a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so I think because they've tried so many times up on the main route, they're going to keep doing that. Or uh, try the other way that, that then hasn't succeeded. We're going to do it this way. At least this time it's not a freaking air battle. Oh, jeez. That tank just got screwed. Too many turrets will do that, I guess. Alright, uh, fine. We're going to make some extra power producers because we're not making enough. Uh, and then I do... I know we're making units right now, which is a little unfortunate for me. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> we'll just make another bot lab. Not that that's... It is much more efficient to assist the existing factory than to make multiple factories of the same kind. What do you mean assist? How do I assist exist existing factories? Oh. I see, there's a mini battle going on over there. Okay. Um, we do have a second... Is this the second worker, or... Yes, it is. Alright. Oh, you can see the projectiles on the minimap. I didn't even notice that before. Hey, that's pretty cool. There's like little, little dots, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there's like little dots where the artillery is firing at. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like a nice little detail that's not needed. Um, it, it's not needed, but it's absolutely wonderful. Okay. Anyway. Uh, enough of me doing that. Let's do... Put some rocketeers up in here. Constantly expanding my economy. I don't know if that's smart, actually, because I've never... I've never played games like that. Oh, hey, you get... <laughs> the trench is 20% faster. Oh, so you move faster in the trench. That's a cool idea. I like that. Yeah, I don't know what it means by assist certain things. Can we get a... Uh, maybe? I think we have enough resources coming in now. We'll be able to do that. Possibly. Um, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure what's happening really right now. I just know that this is defending decently. Like, I'm almost tempted to take these units and move them. Actually, we'll do that. Move those units up on the hill. And they just get absolutely beamed. 
That's freaking crazy to me. Oh, these are artillery. I made the wrong kind of tank. I made these, which I guess is not a bad thing. That's some um, anti-air right there, but we got... Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I made the wrong thing. It's fine. We actually have enough anti-air now, probably, to last us in case that happens. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'd be seeing a lot of fast-moving targets right about now. Not that those aren't fast-moving. They're not. But, uh, yeah. Let's get, like, I don't know, three. And then... Uh, and then we'll be good. Noise. And then this is creating... And that's actually creating without an issue. Nice. Um, yeah, we're not using... We're not using more than what we need right now, which is actually really awesome. This army is just getting bigger. Granted, so is this one. <laughs> Um, just a little bit slower. I probably want some more rock tears. Maybe some light plasma blast guys. That is so freaking cool. Anyway, this game is super complicated, and it goes on for a while, I believe. I think this is like one of those longer strategic games where it actually involves a hell of a lot of strategy and a hell of a lot of time. Um, especially since there isn't a freaking speed-up mechanic. Like, I would love to have this go just a little bit faster. Oh, yeah, and now they're going after here, which is just a terrible idea. And I, I seriously love that, that these things interact with the environment. Like, you have no idea. That's so amazing. Oh, we got a whole ass war going on over here. Like, we actually have a whole ass war going on. They're retreating on that front. On this front, they're just attacking. Actually, I don't think they did retreat on this front. Well, they died now, so that's fine. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, the AI does have its strategies, and that's really cool. Um, I'm actually partially wondering if we shouldn't go something air-related, because it doesn't look like there's much air defense going on. But I don't want to, like, I don't want to pull a risky move. How about this? What can we get from this? Oh. Let's get the tier 2 constructor bot. I want to see what these guys do. Oh, we're getting fighty now. We are getting into the thick of it. There is a lot of war going on. A lot of fights happening, a lot of a lot of shit's about to go down. Those are missile throwers. I'm not sure about that one down there. These guys shoot lightning? I mean, I should be seeing that by the thumbnail, but hey. <laughs> yeah, it looks like... Okay, this game has a lot to it. This is the first time I've ever made it and survived to Tier 2, so... Um, and we have a fair amount of resources Aircraft coming in. spotted. Uh oh Uh, maybe not. Uh oh, oh shoot! They destroyed the radar. Can we get a? 
Oh. Oh. Yes, please. That doesn't even cost a lot. Okay, we can get an air repair pad. We can get experimental gantry. We can get an advanced bot lab. Produces tech two. This produces tech one. Hardened storage. Excuse me. We can get nukes. Can we get better producing things? Got a fusion reactor. Reactor. Which doesn't require geothermal. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I found my new favorite RTS game. I mean, I knew that already, but... So, these spider guys are actually really helpful. What is this guy? Oh, that's a howitzer. It's a dead howitzer, but that's a howitzer. Holy crap, dude. This game went from just exciting to plain, like, holy crap, I want this. I have it. And you too can have it for free. Literally not sponsored. Just having a good time. Oh, shit. Uh, so I think... Holy crap. I think you can have pretty much infinite units when I think it first started. I think it was like 400 per team, but you can have it set to like... I think we can have a thousand per team or something like that. I don't know where the limit limiter is. Um, I just know it tells you how valuable each of your units are. Um, maybe actually, you know what? Go back to your posts for now. I think we're gonna get T two unit detected. I am assuming that's the T two, since it just wiped my whole squad out. Seeing some units hiding in the corners there. Yeah, that wiped my squad the fuck out. I don't even know where we can put this. We can't even afford that yet. Excuse me. Oh, there's the big bad, I think. Yeah. That definitely is the big bad. These are my anti-air units. They're not going to do anything. two aircraft maybe not just kind of a dead aircraft look at the amount of dead things on this ramp by the way oh but we got a fucking swarm coming in this is definitely the end
definitely, definitely the end. Holy crap. Metal extractor lost. I don't think I can defend against this. Damn it, they keep... Jeez. <laughs> Very heavy tank. Yeah, no shit. I never even got to finish the... Metal extractor lost. Yeah, I think we're a little dead. Advanced radar lost. I... yeah. Anyway. Wait a minute, what? Uh huh. Anyway. Battle paused. That's the game. Very hard for me anyway. I have major difficulties playing Bar, but yeah. So this is Beyond All Reason RTS. Look it up, link in the description down below if you guys, well, no. Yeah, link in the description down below. I've not made this game, clearly. I um, am working on another video game at the moment, which uh, I will release more information onto you guys when the time is right. And right now, I don't think it really is. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did with uh, Laser Tag, because I think I got a couple of people excited for that. That game got canceled fully. Block Jumper absolutely will, poss uh, will probably come out um, the way it was originally intended, not the way that it is right now. Um, so there's going to be some level deletions for Block Jumper, but, but, for the, for the first time, I, I, I will announce when the other game comes out, uh, or when the other game gets more developed, I'll make some videos on it, uh, there will definitely be some streams on it as well, so get, get ready, because there is going to be some stuff, um, and primarily, we're really just looking for, um, essentially, well, actually, technically, we're not looking for anything. But essentially, what's going to happen is we're going to announce some things. There's going to be a video made for our game when the time is right. And right now, I don't think the time is necessarily right for that. But, um, yeah. So we're making our own video game. And by we're, I mean the people at Pixel Static, which is not an official company yet. Because we can't register anything since we don't have a product to sell yet. But, Pixel Static, look out for it. That's my video game company, hopefully, if the name isn't already taken. It wasn't when we uh, officially came up with the name, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, that'll be a, a survival space game. We know there's a lot of those already out there. This one will hopefully be different enough. Hopefully. Um, it'll be difficult, but it'll be fun. And eventually, when we have the funds and the means to do so, it'll be multiplayer. Um, so that could take forever. We don't know. Um, but for the time being, it's just going to be a single player game in space. You'll be able to dictate everything about the world that you want to. Um, and because I'm kind of chaotic, there may or may not be an option in the future to blow up planets. Um, who knows? So the, the game's open to things. And the, the only reason I say that, by the way, is because I think it would be funny. Um... And also because, well, no, I'm not going to give any spoilers away. But yeah, so we'll see how the game goes. We'll see how it develops. We'll see how everything is going to go. All we know for sure is that a demo is being made right now for the game, which contains no space content. But there will be space content. It will be difficult. It'll be funny, hopefully. Uh, and it will be multiplayer in the future. That's all I'm going to officially say about our own video game. Uh, I was asked previously if we're going to make any games like RTSs or RPGs. The answer is probably. We might look into that industry. And uh, I already know a little bit about how to make RPGs. So it's very possible that you'll be seeing other games than just our space, possibly multiplayer game in the future, uh, when and if we get the funds to do so. Uh, it's going to be an exciting ride. But that's essentially what I'm going to be doing come July. That is going to be my life. That is going to be my job. Um, doesn't pay at all, but it's going to be my job. I'm going to be making video games. And uh, here's hoping it goes well. 
because uh, I do have backups, uh, obviously, but I'm here. Here's to hoping it goes well. Uh, for anyone wondering, there will be no microtransactions. There will be no like major DLCs. Any content will come to you because you already paid for the game. The demo will be probably about a dollar when it first comes out, but as soon as the game reaches alpha, and we're confident in putting it out there. Um, the demo will be free as soon as the game is released. Like the full game, as it as it is at that time, will be free. Um, so yeah, no microtransactions, no NFTs. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I forgot already. I just because I, I said we're not doing it. Um, so yeah, no microtransactions. Um, there will rarely, rarely ever be a paid for DLC, uh, if ever. There may never be a paid for DLC. Um, so yeah, no NFTs, no microtransactions, which those kind of fall under the same category. No major DLCs that you'll actually have to pay for. Um, and it will be multiplayer at some point in the future. Yay! There'll probably be a donate system at some point in time. We, we have to work out some kinks. Um, yeah, so here's hoping Pixel Static succeeds. Here's hoping that it goes well. This game is a bitch. Not the one we're creating. It's been painful at times, but it's going very well right now. This game is a bitch. Bar is a bit. It's very difficult. So if you like our difficult RTS games, give Bar a try. I'm not sponsored. Once again, I want to point that out. I'm not sponsored, but I do enjoy it, even though it's freaking difficult. <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all later. Goodbye.